So Kaylee, what's up? Do you know what the L word is? The L word? Mm-hmm. I do. Are we allowed to use it? No, we are not. You know, it's kind of interesting. There's two L words, one you can use and one you cannot use. What's the one you can use? Like. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. And love. Love is the word that we do not want you to use when we are out showing homes to you. Why? Because love leads to heartbreak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and when we're out previewing homes, yes, you might really, really like it, but we like to use the scale of one to 10. That's That way, like, our emotions don't get involved and we're not falling short and like, we're not we're not chancing heartbreak. Yes. Uh, the reason being is that the real estate transaction is full of pitfalls, which is why you hire a realtor in the first place. Yes. Um, the secondary reason is that it helps you remove the emotion from it. Uh, so we just don't want anybody to get their heart broken. Um, the house is not technically yours until your name is on title and the keys are in your hands. So that's why we don't love houses. We only like them. Or one to ten. Or one to 10 them. Yeah, I do like one to 10. When I notice that our clients are starting to uh, use that L word or they're kind of getting that comfortable <laughs> feeling in the house, I always make the joke that I'm gonna kick them out because we gotta get under contract mm -hmm. first. We gotta submit Absolutely. the offer, make sure that we can come to agreement with those sellers and, and then move mm -hmm. forward. So and we start to like it a little more after yes. the seller accepts our offer, but we really, really like to discourage the word love. It's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, um, we look forward to seeing homes with you. See ya.